Hey everyone, this is Tara the Painted Cicada. Welcome. This morning I am painting this cute little bunny. I hope you will join me if you are interested and you don't want to draw the bunny on your own. There is a tracer available. Um, look up in the, com uh, the comment section or in the description of the video. I am going to get started by painting my background a nice light lavender purple. You of course can choose any color you want for your background. And that's how we will get started. Anytime you work with rocks, it's always a good idea to get a nice thick uh, background started before you do any painting of the focal point. Um, just because rocks are very porous and this helps seal that rock for any additional layers you have. If you hop on live with me today, feel free to say hello. All month long here in the group we are doing rock painting and it's a really fun thing to get started here for spring you can leave them around in your neighborhood or um, just around town for people to find that's kind of fun you can always put them in your flower beds I'm going to raise my camera up just a pinch. Here we go. Just to move along a little faster, I am going to dry this layer um, and then I'm going to add a second coat. Or with that second coat it's just to make it nice and opaque Anytime I do rock painting, I really do like to have a nice thick coat of paint on there, at least two coats, um, just to seal the rock. And I really like to put mine outside and leave them around town. So I do want them to hold up to weather. So I put two coats in my base coat always, and then I will seal it afterwards as well.
have to use that dryer anymore after this point. That's just a to help get that base coat dry so we can move on. Um, I am going to paint my bunny white. So I'm just going to add my first coat of white paint here. Um, it is handy if you have the option. Um, paint pens are always really nice to have when you're painting rocks as well. So if you need a little more control as you're working on a small area like this, paint pens are fabulous for that. And if you have, um, if you do want to use the transfer, um, an easy way to do that would be to scribble on the back of the transfer with pencil. And then that will um, when you trace the front, it will transfer that image for you. And I will be using some paint pens just to get some nice thin outlines and things. So I've got the first coat of white on there. Again, I'm gonna give my rabbit a second coat, just like I did with my background. And as my second coat of this bunny is drying, I'm going to add just a little bit of gray in the shadow areas. So, like underneath his arm, there'd be a little bit of shadow, right? So, adding a little shadow there. Um, underneath his neck there it would be a little shadowed. And that just, just helps us distinguish the different parts of his little body there, right here, underneath his belly. just use a really light gray for that. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to give that just a moment to dry.
All right, so I'm gonna let this bunny dry for now, and then um, while he's drying, I'm gonna add in some grass. And so for that, I'm gonna grab some green colors, and um, really, I just want a few various colors. I'm gonna mostly be using pastels. So I've got like a mint green, I've got a bright lime green, and then I'm gonna use just a, a little darker color for some shadow. So three different colors. And then I'm gonna get my finest thin paintbrush and I'm just gonna start drawing some streaks of grass. And um, we're just giving the impression of grass and so I'm going to use short, quick movements upward. Um, I'm going to start with some behind Bunny's leg here. Uh, and then I'm going to create kind of just a line of grass that goes kind of across the front here. And I'm starting with my darkest color. And let some of it overlap his little feet. You want some that are long, some that are short. I'm just going to alternate between these three colors until I'm satisfied with the look of that grass. So now I'm just going to add a few of these mint strokes in there just because mint is the lightest color. It's going to be more like a highlight. So I'm just going to do a few of those and mostly in the front since the grass in the front is what's going to be the brightest. Um, now I'm going to add in some flowers and I'm going to start with the stems. So the first stem, um, the first thing I'm going to do is add the flower that my bunny is holding. And so this has got uh, a stem that comes up here and follows down here. I'm using my darkest green for that. And of course you can put your stems anywhere you want. You can have your bunny holding anything that you want. This little guy for me is gonna be holding a flower. And then I also want some flowers here in the grass. So I'm gonna add in two stems down here, going in two different directions. And I'm using my darkest green for that. And then maybe one over here as well. working with mostly small brushes here. Um, let's see, I'm going to 
going to get some deeper purple. I've got lavender and they are just two very, very similar colors. One has more of a pink tone, like a more of a magenta tone and one has more of a purple. Um, but up here, I'm just going to start um, pulling some petals in towards the center. So just choosing a purple. So just adding those petals and then I'm going to add some thickness to them. So once you kind of get the sketch of where you want your petals to be, coming back in with some thickness there. And this is all using the more magenta shade for me. And now I'm going to dip into the other shade and I'm just going to add a line or a stroke of variation color in there. It's hardly noticeable. And then I'm going to come through and pull some white down each petal as well. And you can mix up your petals as much as you want with these colors. I tend to leave uh, paint strokes. I prefer that. Good morning, Caroline. Glad you're here. Let's see who else is joining in today. morning everybody if you're looking for a tracer for this it should be up in the description of the video but I can also put a link um, let's see let me open this up share copy link Here is a link if you are interested in grabbing this tracer. I have it um, sized to a few different um, sizes on the, the printout there so that if um, you have a very, you know, a different size rock than I do, you can find one that works for you. And of course, once you have that tracer, it's pretty much just uh, paint and fill in the blanks, really. Um, all right. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is add some um, flower blooms down here on these stems and I am not going to do um, the same kind of flower. What I'm going to do for these is more like a, um, I'm just going to add dots. So they're going to be more of like, uh, gosh, I don't even know what these flowers are called blue bonnets, I guess, except I'm doing mine in purple. So I'm going to add one color of my purple there. And I just added dots. And then I'm going to add some layers. So I am going to get some blue. And this is just a nice bright blue. And then around these purple dots, I'm going to add some blue dots. And then I'm not going to go crazy with white, but I'm going to add a few white dots in there for highlights. And 
So these type of flowers are super easy to make. So you really just make a stem and then add some surrounding dots. Very, very easy. And of course up here, I need to fill in the center of the flower. So for that, I'm just gonna add a drop of yellow right in here to the middle. Um, and then I'm gonna add some brown and I'm gonna make my own brown with the yellow and mix a little purple in there just so I don't have to pull out another color of paint. going to come through and maybe add a little green. Greenish brown is good. And then just going to pull in some dots in there just to give that center some texture. My camera does not like this rock painting today. There we go. from here on out a lot of this is just going to be black outline and so for that I am going to reach for um, my paint pen. If you don't have a paint pen available you can use a gel pen, you can use um, a sharpie. Really what you want to make sure though is that your paint is completely dry. So just so that I don't ruin my paint pen, I'm using a small Posca pen today. I'm just going to zap this with my heat gun quickly. Um, just over the bunny because that's where I'm adding detail. All right, and so for this, I'm pretty much just um, adding some outline. First thing I want to do is add in his little eyes. Let me get my paint pen depressed and ready to go here. Oops, that's not supposed to happen, but I did. Went crazy. Don't shake your paint and pen without the cap on. I can fix that later. All right. So just adding two little eyes in there. A little nose. And then I'm just going to do the outline of his face. And the outline is ears. And um, when you do the outline, uh, I'm just doing short, like furry little strokes here to give the impression of fur. And of course, want to give your bunny some whiskers. On his little floofy tail. And 
And then also just for a little more effect, I'm going to add some, some black blades of grass in there. And from here on out, it really is, um, just some highlights, um, you know, finishing touches. I'm going to lighten that purple a little bit. Maybe add the tiniest bit of pink for his nose. And maybe you can just fill in a little pink there for his ear. Whatever you want to do. This is your bunny. Um, I always like to add a little uh, glisten of white in the eye. That just makes it look like a, a reflection. Maybe a little pink in his cheeks or down in his belly. Again, remember, whatever you want to do. I am pretty happy with my little guy. The only thing I need to fix is I've got a little mark down here from that paint pen. So what is it, my friends? Isn't he cute? little spring bunny so you can make yours any way that you would like i hope you join in i hope you share with me in the group i can't wait to see him happy spring everybody and i hope you are enjoying enjoying the rock painting theme uh, this month in the online paint night group